kick up. We are on the POV with Miquid. Let's see if the 10% that we always talk about while she happens. No one grabbing camo yet. Will he get it? Will he get burned? Yes, he did. There we go. The 90% I don't lie. I don't lie. 90% of the time, that first camo gets burned. So we burned it immediately. But that's more dead. That's more dead in denial already. Yes, and uh, that means next camo is going to be 28, 40. And Optic right in this first flag. This so could be a super, the, super yeah. quick one right now. Moving across to Assault Slate, breaking off there once, but no they're worries. actually running this one. Have they got the return? Are they still moving? I can't see on the POVs it's, right uh, now. Right. I cannot keep track of There's so much action going on, and it looks like it was returned. I think both flags back at their own base. So, but uh, at the same time, Optic's still in position to uh, to do some damage, because you can see the flag was still tossed out. I believe we have two members, three members down from Denial, and Assault flag. running the flag. That's going to be four as well, Curry so for the second flag. time in as many seconds, four down. Will he get flag. the beat down with the flag? It is flag assassination you see on screen there. Curry Can Assault get this one? Ace is Curry up there to collect, and within seconds, Walsh, it is 1-0 Greenwall. Great work for uh, Optic. They just, uh, like you said, they took advantage of Denial being very aggressive, waited for them to make mistakes, and got those kills, and eventually got the cap. One thing that we saw earlier that some of these teams were making mistakes is that they panicked. They forced flag caps when they didn't need to. That was uh, specifically the Cloud9 match against EG. But Optic did not make that mistake. They kept their composure. Even though the first flag that they started to run was returned, they kept control of the now space and ran a second flag that was successful. And here we go again. It's on the move once again. That's going to come down. They're not opting to do teleporters. But just look at this slot. And now Maniac's going to push up onto that platform. If he stays alive, he'll be in a great position to capture this flag. If they throw it up to him, there is nobody in needles. Uh, sorry, in nades, though. Will someone return that? Or will somebody be able to touch it? Coming around with a shotgun. That's going to be assault. Manages to somehow stay alive. But he picks up the wrong thing, he doesn't manage to grab the flag. That, that is, is so unlucky. Extremely unfortunate. I mean, he, uh, yeah, he grabbed plasma rifle and was not able to get the touch and the toss, so that is Chill going to cost there. Optic Chill. the flag when they probably should have for sure had it. And Hind taking flag. advantage of that mistake and running the counter cap Curry immediately. Flag. Without question, Ace was ready Curry and he was there to, to, you know, to grab him. Curry Unfortunately, the, uh, the plasma rifle got in the way. Didn't manage, but look at Richie Hines. He's just no trouble at all. Runs that straight across top mid, and now it's 1 1. Just these top teams, if you make one small mistake, if you don't grab the flag, if you have all four down, they will take advantage of it every time, and that is what Richie Hines did right there. He did such an amazing job from that flag, and you got to question how good is this player? He double kill. Nearly an unofficial triple kill. Takes him down, but as we mentioned, it could have been 2-0 to the green ball. Now instantly is 1-1. Denial coming back straight into the game. Richie had quite, quite a few times. I've seen a lot of people just crawling around bottom mid. Is this, is this a tactic watch where they'll just kind of guard this section and slaughter them down, down below? Yeah, well, when you're uncertain of side flags, so for example, you want to try to get a side flag if possible. Otherwise, it's good to roam towards bottom mid. You can, you can try to make your way towards the enemy base. Sometimes going through portals can be a crapshoot. You go through and you don't know which way to look. So when back smack you to the left when you're looking right and vice versa. And so spot of mid's a good spot where you can come around, you can stay alive, put down some shots, and help your team. But that's only good if you have people that are up high helping lay down fire. And if you don't have a teammate up on the side flag to drag you, you're just gonna be down low doing no work. So again, now that three down, if Ace goes, no, Ace does manage to somehow survive. That was three down for, for Optic Gaming. They're going to come back in this off the respawn. we got Flame Sword up top mid. He gets taken down by Chig. One thing I also have noticed that a lot, then nobody is using the, uh, the teleporters at all to get the flags through. Everyone's running either top mid or up onto the platforms. No one dare use those teleporters in this game. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's a bit surprising because we see it from time to time, but most of these players, they seem to opt for running towards this bottom center side and then just getting it up high because a lot of times if they have if you have numbers on the opposing team if you keep the flag up high meaning top center or on one of the plats then you can't return it nice solid fall from jig takes down i believe that was awesome the flame so we've got pretty high now gets the grenade kill looking at ace ace is going to be challenging that one but he gets the grenade gets the hit markers Richie, I have no idea how Heinz manages to dodge these nades, but he always seems to get away from it. Finds Ace, he's got team shots coming in. Can he take down Maniac for the double? No, Maniac says no. That's going to be three down now for Denali. He's got APG left running solo. However, he's got Midwood spawning to his left. Assault comes through the port. He gets sent back, though. 
Will he come through and challenge it? I don't think he will unless no, but the assist medal comes in. He's got a teammate clearing that one. Ace get double shot from two people. Shots coming in. That's gonna be the camo just popping up. That's gonna be now in the hands of Denial Esports. Denial is in a prime position because not only did they have two persons on the flag to grab it and run it, but they had two top center. They can spot every single spawn for the most part. They can see. Flag port or you know ramp portal, health portal, and here's that play again. Where if they have numbers on the opposing team, they're gonna bring the flag up high because it's so tough for something to get returned. And just as I say that, I believe it was Ace ran top center and somehow got the return. So that was definitely, to him. definitely a suicide return. No, yeah, just went for it. But credit to APG, shook the flag up, turned around, listened to the call out, and managed to catch the, the guy one shot. What a fantastic play. The score just over, that's going to be just nearly six minutes played right now. Score 1-1. One, one. Very close game so far, Walsh. Yeah, and we would have expected to be maybe higher scoring at this point, seeing how fast paces started off. We saw the green wall score within, the, I think, the first minute and a half. It was just so fast, I don't even remember how fast it happened. And then within seconds, they could have got the second one tiny mistake. Yep. And a denial took advantage, came back in. Get the, the, the second one, take it to 1-1. One, one. Come back kill now for Chig. Use the Sentinel beat, takes down, I believe that was Ace. However, he's on his own. Get some grenades, two down now for Denial. It's gonna be Assault going for the Rico, which he managed to do. Looks at green, he knows the player there. Don't think he has any grenades. Have a look now, that's gonna be Mikwin. Will he challenge it? Mikwin does! Shuts down Assault, down in green nades. Ace jumps up to the flag, finds Chig. Will Chig challenge this one or will he go for it? No, that's gonna be one of his teammates throwing grenades in. Can Ace stay alive? This will be a big play if we somehow manage it. She comes back for a vengeance and says, no, that's three down now for Optic Gaming. This is just back and forth. And look at this flank from Assault. This is huge. He gets the back smack. He saw a second member. His lane shot down over at green. We're going to see if he's going to run the flag. And yes, he is. No, actually, he's just going to toss it off and get slays. I don't disagree with this play. When in doubt, slay. That's, uh, that's generally a good rule of thumb against these top squads because Assault's in such a prime position that had he died, they wouldn't have any other chance of getting kills or getting caps. Are there any situations, especially in a game time like this and at this level, where you can just constantly, constantly run the flag and just try and suicide for the win? Or, or is it straight up you need to, there is no way of doing that against a top team like this, it's all about the kills. On top teams like this, you have to get the kills. You aren't really going to slip by every once in a while, every once in a great while you might be able to try to do some sort of juke where you run it towards a portal and you go double back or something like that. But this map is so small that players can scan the map pretty quickly and at least locate where you're at. The main point being is even if you are able to sneak this flag across the map without dropping it, you're basically trusting your teammates that they can win a 3v4 in Slaves. Yeah, without question, putting one down, going for the flag, move across the jig. He's going to grab this flag. There's a shotgun there. Will he pick it up, put it in his back pocket? Yes, he does. Flag is now out. Mikwin has just grabbed himself the camo, I do believe, about 10 seconds ago. I could be wrong. Ace gets the grenade to the face. Doesn't manage to get out of the way with the portal. Grenade goes in. That's a that's a cracking nade. Lands at the feet of Flame Sword. Mikwin puts it in. What a nade to top me. That was beautiful. Yeah, back to back impressive nades. The one at Ace on Portal. The one at Top Center on Flame Sword. Mikwin just a force to reckon with, and he's just doing some damage. I'm surprised. So I've seen a lot of players where some of them just whenever they have Sentinel Beam, it seems like it is out 100% of the time. But Mikwin, he has Sentinel Beam, but he's just putting it in the back pocket. I wonder what that difference is. Why Mikwin feels that he would rather use uh, PR when I see some other players opt to use Sentinel Beam. I'm not a big fan of him myself. I'm, I'm not either. either. I'm Probably because of my ex. <laughs> but look, now we have a portal pull goes through. Players back off two. Will Assault go for this? Well, he knows he's got two players there. They're going to clip that one up. Two people down though. One's going to be up on top mid. Will he go for the back smack? You're getting down. Chick's going to be one shot. Assist comes in, so that's going to be someone claiming, clearing up the ICU medal. Camo goes down. There's another one that's going to be two down now for Denial. Greenwall do have. No, they don't have numbers. It's even Steven right now. Two down on each team. Yeah, they originally I thought had numbers, but even though they took down two members of Denial who forcefully tried to return that flag. They just came back up and also somehow grabbed a couple of kills. That's one of the things about these squads. Even when they're down in numbers, they somehow manage to either stay alive or scrap up a kill. Isolate the one versus one. Okay, on the POV of Mr. 200k himself. Can he survive? Unfortunately, no, he can't jump across to Mr. Red Bull Flamesword. But he goes down as well. Cursed of the caster right now. 
Uh, assault again. We moved across to him. Now he's dead. Is we'll, that three we'll or four? We'll do that to Nile now. I'll see if I can help out Optic by switching <laughs> their POVs. Because whoever I switch to seems to die. I have that. I have that touch. Not this time round. Chick throws out the flag. He knows the guy there. We doesn't challenge it. Puts the nade and gets the hit markers. I'm looking for the assist medals. If someone cleans it up, the maniac comes in, gets him out of the base, going across to APG. He goes down. Now with the Sentinel being the back, with Smack will come in. He gets a punch to the face and goes down. Mikuin's going to push up onto the flag, but unfortunately gets shut down before he can touch that. Now that's going to be Assault, I believe, running across top mid. The flag is on their platform. Can they seal the deal and put this in to make it 2-2? Two -two? Flamesaw's grabbed himself. Camo, I believe, unless they're there. And there it is, Greenwall. 2-2 two -two now. Optic Gaming denial eSports. Walsh, we have a game. We couldn't ask for anything better than this. Back and forth this entire time. We are not seeing anyone string together more than a few kills at a time. It is just neck and neck. Just look at the bottom there. Team Liquid is up against Winterpop from top six. Team Liquid leads Shrine CTF 1 0. That's going to be an interesting game. I know Liquid have been playing pretty well, and they, I spoke to them earlier on. They think they can beat uh, Winter Fox, but less about that. It's about this now. Chick turns around, gets the one. But that's going to be four down for Denial. Let's see if Optic Gaming can make something of this off of the respawn. Now, one thing I'm noticing with Optic compared to Denial is when Optic gets all four down, it seems like they take their time. They 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 get in position and then try to get some sort of pull. But it seems like every single time all four of Optic are down, Hines already has the flag in his hands, hard running across the map. So I think that's just Hines' aggressiveness. And we saw right there, Hines had a kill and already on that. Be flag. Without question, and that's actually put four down now for Optic Gaming off of the respawn. Chicks getting shots in the back as the guy's hiding in the port. APG's gonna turn around and clean him up, no problem. Looking at the guy dropping down from Hellfax. Grabs the, doesn't actually grab the shotgun, just gets away to stay alive so he can fight again. Jumps back up on the platform. Ace doesn't know where he's coming from, but unfortunately, the green wall too strong. APG goes down. Moving across the Heinz now, grabbing himself the camo, looking at Assault. Will he finish Assault off? He'll put the nade down. Assault's going to be backing off. No assist medal. So Assault's staying alive, but Richie Hines knows better. Turns around, cleans him up. There is another guy camping in that portal, though. Yeah, and Hines is doing a couple jobs with Camel. I like when he's aggressive, pushes towards enemy flag, but I'm pretty certain that he had a, a teammate of his on the optic flag, so the optic stayed towards the top there. So he's eventually taken down, but I, overall, I'm incredibly impressed with Hines' Curious gameplay so far this match. But that's going to be three. Did we even see the flag cap there? Three, two now to uh, to denial it. Even yeah, yeah. That was um, so that came about two minutes ago, and that's where I was talking about how fast denial takes advantage of optic being down. Basically, they had three members optic down. Heinz already had the flag in his hand and ran across the map in a matter of ten seconds. That's me not paying attention. That was a very quick flag cap indeed. Three, two now. Denial Esports leading the way. Another player is going to be caught below. No grenade managed to hit him, unfortunately. Chick picking up a fresh camo. That's going to be put on respawn. And there we go. Another flag. I'm not even seeing these come in. Another flag for Denial Esports making it 4 2 now as we approach the 2 minute 10 remaining mark. Yeah, and this is just really, really tough for Optic because I felt like they were doing a great job. They were getting slaves early on, they were having uh, great control of the map and camo. But it just seems like it's not enough. It seems like as soon as Denial gets one little small advantage, they're already on the enemy flag, already running it. But we have Chick now being a pain with this camo. He's going to put a nade down, assist medal there. Teammate manages to clean him up, throws in another nade. Will he go for the, uh, for the touch or the pull? Yes, he does. Puts it out. Now he's going to run this one himself. We've seen before Chick so many times beat the objective player. He's flames are jumping up. He's going to turn around. Will he bait this flag? Oh, he went. He decided to turn away, but his teammate saved him. But flames. So that's going to be ace. I do apologize. Comes in, saved the day, returns the flag. He survived. Now he goes down. Three down on both sides, though, Walshie. And Mikwin wins the 1v1 against Maniac, so he is able to secure that. And it looks like he's out there getting ready for this next camo. You know his coach has got to be calling that out. And, and there, there it is. There we go. Bang on time. Mikwin jumps up, but unfortunately he gets burnt out straight away. So both teams knew that were coming up. The coaches playing their main part there. Ace just trying to stay alive, which he somehow does. Looking for a player down below him on the plat. Can he throw this flag out, or even will he? Yes, he does indeed. He did have a teammate waiting in the ball. So I like this play. Right. I like this play. Not only does he get the kill, he tosses the flag out and immediately runs it. He has Assault already up there, catching the flag, and running in that third cap. Optic's only down by one cap. We do know the Optic boys like to play basketball, and that's exactly what they did. 
Juggling the flag and putting it in right now. Three for the squad. Nearly enough neck and neck if they can get another one in. This is a very, very intense game, but unfortunately there's only 25 seconds remaining. Optic needs to do something and do it now if they want to stay. I would actually take this into overtime. Now, Ace is uh, doing a good job getting this kill plot. What he needs to do is just push for an enemy pull. He needs to just say, hey, we need to get in some scrappy situation where we have both flags out. That is our best opportunity. But it seems like Denial is a bit too composed to realize, hey, we'll Reset. toss the flag out for a second and just get slays. So in the end, this could be Denial win for game one. So there you have it then. Denial Esports win four flags to three, but certainly Optic Gaming should not be disappointed by any means whatsoever. I, I've got to, I've got to apologize. I didn't even see two of those flags. They were coming in from Denial. It's they were super, how super fast quick. Richie Hines is running those flags. Um, so one thing that I noticed between the two squads is Denial. They would get kills. They'd be on the flag. They not only would they toss out, they would run the flag. Whereas on the other hand, Optic, they would get a few kills and they'd toss out flag, kind of test the waters and say, oh, I guess it's safe now, and then run it. And sometimes that few second hesitation cost them caps. Other times, I think they were just decided to just go for slaves. So it seems like Denial was more on the side of we're running the flag and going straight for it.